And I, I will say, I've had a great relationship. It was very honorable. I don't even know if you know this, but when they uh, did the impeachment hoax, it was a hoax, just a Democrat hoax, which we won. But one of the reasons we won it so easily is that when the president was asked, it was over a phone call with the president, and he said he could have grandstanded and played cute, but he didn't do that. He said, President Trump did absolutely nothing wrong. He said it loud and clear, and the impeachment hoax died right there. He could have said, well, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And I, don't, I never even told you this, to be honest, but he was, he was uh, like a piece of steel. He said, President Trump did nothing wrong. We had a very nice call. He congratulated me on his victory. You just won. Uh, and uh, I remember that. Remember that he could have played cute and he didn't play cute, and so I appreciated that. So, we have a very good relationship, and I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved with that. So, we have a very good relationship, and I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly, very well. I really think we're going to get it resolved. I hope we have it more good relations. We're going to have, oh, I see. Yeah, but, but, you know, it takes two to ten. It should stop, and the president wants it to stop, and I'm sure President Putin wants it to stop. Putin started this war, and he could end it tomorrow if he simply withdrew his troops from Ukraine's sovereign territory. Of course, he has demonstrated no intention of doing that, Instead, he continues to assault civilian infrastructure and terrorize the people of Ukraine. Situation. Do you believe that Ukraine should turn over some of its own land to Russia in order to end the war? Uh, we'll see what happens. There are some in my country who would instead force Ukraine to give up large parts of its sovereign territory, who would demand that Ukraine accept neutrality and would require Ukraine to forego security relationships with other nations. These proposals are the same of those of Putin. And let us be clear, they are not proposals for peace. Instead, they are proposals for surrender, which is dangerous and unacceptable. So we have a very good relationship. And I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Very well. I really think we're going to get it resolved. I hope we have more good relations. We're going to have. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Do you but, think you but, you know, it takes two to tango, you know, and we. Well, President Zelensky, it is good to see you again. This is our seventh visit together. And welcome back to Washington, D.C. As I have made clear on our six previous meetings and throughout Putin's brutal aggression and war against Ukraine, my support for the people of Ukraine is unwavering. I have been proud to stand with Ukraine. I will continue to stand with Ukraine. And I will work to ensure Ukraine prevails in this war.